Well, hello, this is Jiminism Total. Yes, I'm going to show you a little uh, small showcase of my ship Sirius. Its name is Holger. And, uh, well, I have built different versions of the ship in different heaviness class. So, basically, um, I mean, this is kind of my third um, Sirius star made ship um, it's a smaller ship yes that's true but i spent some time on it anyways so you better think it looks no you don't, you you can think what you want of course this is not a dictature well anyways it's neighbor ships and this is the baseline this is not an actual ship this is just a vessel that you could put stuff on like yeah it's supposed to be modded with more th more stuff on it basically to make it work um, or so but it has everything in this shell like it has not weapons but it has all the thrusters energy generation shields well basic you can look at it and you can see it shields it 2000 shields and uh, well some power and here we have the slightly heavier version this is like the lightest version of this is the lightest version of the ship the lightest functional version of the ship you can see it has the same amount of shields the difference is this has a bit more power generation and it also has some cannons we shall be going into the ship later but, uh, well, it has cannons, automatic cannons, and also salvage beams. All of these versions has uh, built-in, uh, well, storage systems with uh, named cargo bays as they... Um, well, what that does is that you can reach them from your ship menu if you press um, ship and cargo. Now I don't have any, because I sit in a three-block ship. Well... Anyways, here we have something more heavy. From this to this. We have doubled the amount of shields, um, as well as increased power generation. And this has something that takes much space, is the speed mod. This has stuff on it that makes it... Uh, well, it has an overdrive computer and overdrive modules that uh, is just activated in the menu and that makes the ship go faster, like a boost speed mod thing. So here you can see Holger K1 SSM shield speed mod, and this is the K1. And here is the next version. This is Holger K2 SSM. This is the shield mod, same, but you can see here that the shields are now 2000 more and the power generation is more than doubled. Uh, this is a much heavier ship. It has the same amount of speed mod, which makes it not as fast um, with the speed activated, but it's like uh, server top speed times uh, some maximal. I mean, on this server, you can see we have uh, 80 kilometers per hour that means that it goes to like 100 something this one um, but what this has is it has better um, weapons like the same automatic cannons as before but now we also have siege lasers that is lasers that are supported by um, what are they called? Pulse. Pulse. Here we have pulse and here we have laser. And together they make a very heavy laser that completely, uh, almost, almost drains the power. It goes just above uh, like drain power when you fire the siege laser, but it does huge amounts of damage. But beware, you cannot have a rad radar jammer activated at the same time because then, well, they will fail. Also, we have um missile like here oops now i crashed my ship please stop well uh, this is regular lock on missiles with three four 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 yeah it's eight 
and as its support the whole system is uh, 16 blocks well 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 that's that ship now the next one which is even more heavy this is a long range version this is the k3 k3 now i'm talking swedish well you can see the difference is some more power storage and well 30 percent more shields no it's more yeah you can see from 6,000 to 9,000 shields, almost 10,000. And well, what this has, it has a completely different weapon setup and it has an other section uh, to protect the shuttle from behind and also to store some more shields and power. Well, this has two large sniper cannons, that is cannon supported by beam. And you can see I put this block in this way to make it more obvious what what the support and what is well i think it looks better that's why and also this has what you can call artillery cannons that is cannons with uh, pulse and on them they have an explosive effect which is down there which make them well basically siege cannons like explosive heavy cannons with slow slow reload and as well as the regular missiles, this also has the there and there we have what are they called? Nukes. No, not nukes. They are missiles supported by pulse, which makes a slow seek torpedo, which does huge amount of damage. You know the regular uh, spawned in. The, I not must know what its name is. Isanath. Isanth. Uh, type whatever ships they are almost completely wiped out by that torpedo missile if one would fire the last version of the ship is the same as this one but it has three turrets on it ai turrets that is uh, set to uh, shoot uh, well ships enemy ships um, however uh, dependent on how the faction modules are, uh, you can set these two turrets. They are uh, fully automatic uh, cannon turrets. Um, you can set these to shoot on missiles, but uh, currently they shoot down your own missiles. But that's due to the faction modules, so I can fix that. So this is either a supported by turret ship, or it's a supported by... Um, well, anti-missile systems, depending on what you want. The Holger baseline we will not try out. And I will spawn in my cool commands. But we will be going out to have a look in this ship. It's not a very special ship. I mean, the insides are not very special. But here I have a new idea that I had for an engine because I love these scaffold uh, blocks that are new so I try to use them much as possible. Um, so one can see here that uh, I put the scaffolds as some kind of uh, yeah thing around the engine exhausts which uh, I resembled by lava uh, and I put some red light rods there and I think it makes a cool, 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 well, effect for engines. So, here we have, it's open all the way up like that. And yeah, this is the lightest working, work, ver working version of the ship. And they all have faction modules. And we just go inside and we can switch to inside uh, emergency camera. And you can switch to the nice camera, which will be shot down. And well, we go into uh, weapons, and here we have it. We have them all. It's well, it's not very many systems on this one, but uh, here we have automatic, fully automatic cannons, as well as well, all all ships of course have jump drive, but that's not very fancy, like that. That's basically this ship, and well, I can show you the cargo, which is cargo bay, and you can have stash bay 1, uh, stash bay 2, and well, here you can put stuff. So that's nice. 
we will go into the next chip and have a look of what is different because now you can see it's quite slow acceleration but the top speed is 80 kilometers no not 80 kilometers per hour i'm sorry they changed this i'm very happy they did this is well seconds meters per second yeah yes 80 meters per second is this top sheep top speed well let's go outside and let's align ourselves with this one and basically get out of here i put also green light rods here because i thought it was a cool light effect this is the same ship but with speed mod which makes this a very agile um, and not very powerful fighter like light fighter you can take out some smaller ships with this one well for some reason let's see here uh, weapons yeah we have the radar jammer here we can put it down on the bar nice to activate that and here you can see we ride up to top speed and now we have some stuttering i don't know what it what, why this uh, happens it's kind of annoying so and now we activate overdrive effect this gives us 94.8 percent uh, well boost to our speeds which makes us go um, as fast as 100 and let's see 145 is our top speed with this i guess the top speed uh, like for everything on this server is 150 so when fighting heavier ships this is kind of crucial to have because you need to escape them because you can't fight heavier ships this has the same cannons however so here we have whoops uh, well here we have Holger K1 and we can well tear on its shields a bit well that's not too interesting let's go to the next ship which has better weapon systems because truth is this doesn't pack hell of a lot of punch that's just the truth so let's get out of here and let's enter the next ship this is the k2 ssm same speed mod but as we have more blocks um, it goes a bit slower well inside the holger k2 ssm we have a different weapon separate or more weapons and here we can see we have the extra power generation layer which makes this a block more than this one to fit that basically so we go inside and we can see we have we have this uh, overdrive and ra radar jammer and well what is different we have colored the shots red isn't that cool but we also have the famous siege laser which completely drains the power and you should not have radar jammer on so let's fire it this is what it does like this it drains the power completely but it does huge amount of damage and now we can see it uh, took down the entire shield but it's a fast reloading shield however so you need to keep firing if you so say wow okay server is basically dying but let's try to lock on some missile okay target locked on fire whoa okay now i feel this is alpha whoa oh my god i really feel this is alpha what the fuck Mm, you know what i will restart the game well i have no idea what that was but we will be going to the next ships anyways we will be looking at the last version of the ship this is the holger k3m which is military we have 
removed the salvage beams and replaced them with gunnery and power generation. So these are basically the same. The one have turrets and this one has not turrets. So we might as well run into the one with turrets from the beginning and these red lights are only to make so that the guns can have red shots. Here we have some extra stuff. And also this has some protection from the sides here, which is good. And well, we go into our weapons menu. We can see we have all the weapons here. This cannon has a beam, so it's sniper cannon. This cannon has a pulse, like other cannon. And now it somehow duplicated itself. Just make like that. So here are all these systems and we shall be going to, instead of a siege laser, we have uh, siege cannons. That's basically one thing. That's cannon with pulse, um, with, well, explosive effect. It does very much damage. And well, we have the sniper cannon also, which also does much damage and have faster loading speed and very long distance. And also we have the regular lock-on missiles. And I actually don't know if it will work. Oh yes, we seem to be damaging it. And here we have the really heavy with overdrive effect on, which makes them drain the whole system. Oh damn. Power rating, let's see how much that remains of this shit. It's immensely powerful. But, well, the reloading speed is like a yacht. Well, you can see it just destroyed everything. On the other hand, we have taken down the shields, uh, basically, from before that. But with the sniper cannons, it's hard hitting and a long distance. And you can see it like in instantly destroy a block. And now we have, well, Starmate is an alpha game things like this happens and I have tried to put my settings to optimal but well maybe I failed I do not know why it's stuttering but here we can see the explosive um, siege cannon thing we didn't see the damage done but it basically makes a little um, hole and it's very good for taking out ships because, well, it explodes around the core when you hit it, so, well, it makes quite much damage. Well, anyways, now we see that uh, the server, or my local server here, is really sad, so maybe we will be ending the video here, but we have showed the weapons and all its, um, well, can and stuff successfully, so I'm happy. Well, not quite happy, I'm actually going to select that one let's see here remove and now we should go i will spawn an enemy ship and i will say thank you very much for watching and i hope i will be seeing you in my future videos and please rate the video if you thought it was good and dislike it if you thought it was terrible well i will spawn an enemy ship and i will fight and i will run the credits and you will like the video or dislike it well anyways thank you for watching let's fight finally oh crap it's lagged but now it died Well, our turrets are still working. None of them is offline yet. It's ver terrible lag. Um, I can't do much about it. I don't know what is happening. But well, Stormade is getting better and better every day. Okay, this is my sniper cannon.
now it's nice to have the speed mod. Yeah, that was a nice hit. Change the sniper cannon. Whoops. I'm experiencing freezing. Oh, now they took out. Let's use the reserve camera. Okay. Walk on, you bastard. Bad. Fire. Find the siege cannon. Come on, siege. Oh. What? He died. Oh, her turret's actually disappearing. Well, anyways, it's two automatic cannon turrets and a beam cannon. A uh, beam turret. Well, anyways, thanks for watching this enormously laggy battle. Anyways, have a good day or night. Jimmy is out.